Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss some interesting cyber deck ideas that you could try. So let's get started. A huge shout out to Altium and JLCPCB for sponsoring this video. Number 12. This cyber deck from Carter's made using an old laptop. By deassembling his entire old laptop, he built a better cyber deck using a Raspberry Pi Zero and an iPad mini dock. The trackpad's glued to a linear slide, which saves space as well as gives you a great experience while working on it. Carter tried to install as many batteries to power the Cyberdeck by keeping the design as simple as possible. Apart from the iPad Mini, a tiny e-ink display is also added, which retains the last image, even if the power's off. Among other things, the split keyboard's a great choice for this Cyberdeck. Number 11. Lucas used an old portable CRT display and turned it into a brand new Cyberdeck. He mounted a touchpad to the viewing window that might be uncomfortable to work with, but adds an aesthetic look to the deck. The keyboard's also custom-built that features Gateron silent brown switches. On the panel, he added three more switches to change the picture's brightness, contrast, and tone. The deck uses a Raspberry Pi 4 that outputs a video signal to a 5 inches black and white CRT screen. So overall, the deck turns out to be a challenging yet interesting project for Lucas. Number 10. This Cyberdeck by Michaels built in a clamshell design. The display is mounted directly onto the Raspberry Pi in the top half, while the BlackBerry keyboard's connected in the bottom half. It acts as a USB-connected keyboard and mouse. The hinges hold these two halves and limit the opening range of travel to a 45-degree angle. Some felt strips are also glued onto the outer edges so that the display doesn't rub against the keyboard when it's closed. The case for the Cyberdeck's made of plywood, the deck uses around 4 to 6 watts when running, so it can be powered through a power bank and used as a portable device for a couple of hours. Number 9. If you're obsessed with the number of screens in a cyber deck, then you must try this one. This cyber deck has not two, not three, but six different screens that make it very special. The deck designed by Holistech is based on a modular 3D printed framework that gives you the ease of carrying it around. Driving the six displays are three Raspberry Pi 4 Model B single board computers, which gives the deck an interesting capability not often seen. The single six display system can be split into three dual display systems, each with a dedicated Raspberry Pi and capable of independent operation. With three 26,500 milliamp hour power banks and support for 30 amp hour solar charge battery packs, this deck has the potential for true off grid use. Number 8. Using this Cyberdeck plate, you could turn a Raspberry Pi 400 into a functional Cyberdeck. It has custom angled headers that plug directly into the Pi 400. The hat has options to connect different accessories like a TFT screen, a thermal camera, and more. Using screws and standoffs, the sensors in the hat are secured over a mounting plate. Here, the thermal camera is running a demo code on the TFT display. As compared to the keyboard, the screen looks tiny, but it's useful if you regularly carry your accessories and want to work at different places. Altium's a PCB design software that's both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. And with all-new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. And to convert these designs to real-life PCB boards, look no further than JLC PCB. They provide all types of PCB services and assembly at very competitive prices. Their high-quality PCBs, quick delivery, and great customer service make them the perfect partner for your electronics projects. Number 7. Well, Cyberdecks are not considered cool until they could do this. Interesting, right? It's a wrist-wearable, dual-mode Cyberdeck. It switches between just the display mode and the full terminal mode with a tap on the screen. It's built on the Raspberry Pi Zero W. It contains one main 3.5-inch SPI TFT screen and an additional 1-inch OLED screen. A BT keyboard, a Pi camera, and a thermal camera are a couple of add-ons that make the Cyberdeck useful. On tapping the screen again, it opens up the camera to capture the live feed. Overall, this one's less of a practical field use and more of a fun cyberpunkish prop. Number 6. This Cyberdeck by Michael uses a Latte Panda 3 Delta. It's a powerful mobile computer with a great combination of I.O. pins. 
It's enclosed in a Pelican case along with an HD touch display, a fold-up keyboard, and a low-profile mouse. The onboard Arduino allows you to hook up sensors, servos, and displays directly to the I.O. pins, so it's great for tinkering with electronics or deploying as a project solution. The USB 3.2 ports provided on the top panel, which is perfect for use with high-speed devices. The touch display is a little small to work with comfortably, but it's a nice addition if you're working in an area where the mouse is not practical to use. Number 5. This Cyberdeck uses a waterproof Plano box that keeps the inner components safe. Inside it lies a 10-inch screen, a Raspberry Pi 400, and a 40,000 mAh power bank to run everything. In order to give the Cyberdeck a tidy look, all the connections are kept below the monitor screen. In fact, the use of wall plate keystones at the side of the screen is an interesting way to recharge the battery pack, as well as make connections with the Pi 400 without removing the components. Overall, the simple design and the use of a minimum number of components make this Cyberdeck worth trying. What do you think? Number 4. This Cyberdeck has the strongest build quality among the others. It's built inside a 50 cal ammo can. Despite the space constraints, the Cyberdeck contains a touchscreen and a mini keyboard that slides below the screen. The computer mouse and the adapter are stored on the side panel. Along with the screen, different ports like USB ports, HDMI ports, and Ethernet ports are provided on the front panel, which gives you the option of connecting different accessories. This deck does not use any 3D printed parts. Instead, it uses aluminum plates that make it sturdy. What are your thoughts on this? Number 3. Turning old gadgets into modern, usable devices gives people a satisfying experience. For instance, take this Super 8 film viewer of the 1960s, which is turned into the Boostbox 0.1. To build this one, you require an LCD screen, a Raspberry Pi 4, and a speaker. After the assembly, it becomes a handy device to view any video that's offered by YouTube. Not only that, but the device can also be connected to any Bluetooth speaker. This updates a vast improvement from the original purpose of the machine, that showed one roll of Super 8 film at a time. Efficient and retro, right? Number 2. This Cyberdeck's built inside a waterproof travel case, so you can take it anywhere along with you. The upper panel of the deck consists of a capacitive touchscreen, the atomic pie kit, and a Wi-Fi antenna, while the lower panel consists of a keyboard. Using a 3D printed frame and a couple of screws, all the components are properly held in their respective places. The USB hub allows you to connect more devices to the deck without the need of removing the keyboard and mouse. The deck's not that robust, but it's useful for everyday work with the flexibility of taking it to different places. Number 1. This one is the most compact cyber deck on our list. It's made using two different parts, the screen and the keyboard. Using a hinge, the keyboard can be folded down to cover it. Behind the 3.5-inch screen lies a Raspberry Pi Zero W, neatly enclosed inside a 3D printed frame. The CyberDeck runs on two 18650 batteries that are placed behind the panel, just below the screen. The keyboard fits into the case using magnetic phone mounts, it's a Bluetooth keyboard that makes the overall design simple and reduces the number of connecting wires. So, these were some of the interesting Cyberdeck ideas that you can also try. Comment down below the one you like the most, drop a like, and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. Goodbye!